Hi, I'm an Alabama mom at my kitchen table and this video is for Katie Britt. I don't know what happened last night. Um, I don't have to tell you that you came off as really disingenuous at best and at worst kind of psychotic. I don't know what happened there. Um, if you were like overcoached, um, definitely ill-advised, or maybe you sounded so fake because you don't believe what you were saying. I think we know some of the same people and I suspect that it's the latter. I was up until two o'clock in the morning scrolling on Twitter. Uh, I haven't seen backlash like this in a really long time. And honestly, it made me so angry because the men in your party have been doing and saying the most unacceptable shit for a really long time and they're still around. But then you give a speech, um, a speech that I know you didn't write, um, that you probably rehearsed a hundred times in front of a hundred different people and a hundred different people signed off on it. It was weird and now your career, it's not good. It might be over, but I don't think that it has to be. I actually think this could be the beginning of something really great, but you would have to choose women over your party. You'd have to be really brave and choose women over your party, the party that set you up at a kitchen table, no less, and knocked you down. Alabama has had a really hard couple of weeks, and we are in desperate need of uh, leadership. And I think everyone is just so desperate for a government that isn't so dysfunctional. We want people who work for us. We're tired of the political theater. It's so obnoxious. We're tired of the fear mongering and uh, lack of action, lack of respect, and just tired of all of the distractions because that's what so much of this is. Last night you told a story, probably in too much detail, about a woman who was trafficked and raped. And the point was the border. It was about stoking fear about the border. But the thing is, you and I both know that trafficking happens everywhere, in our own backyards, all of the time. Every day I see another headline where a pastor or a youth pastor has been arrested for SA or possession of SA, uh, child SA materials. Our churches are crawling with predators. No one ever talks about that, um, but the church is crawling with predators because of course uh, predators are going to find places where there is a lot of trust and uh, no accountability, very few if any consequences when they're caught. In 2022, the Southern Baptist Convention released a previously secret list of sexual abuse allegations. We're talking hundreds and hundreds of victims and uh, abusers who were never held accountable. Some were still in active ministry even. And then just this week, the Department of Justice concluded a year and a half long investigation uh, and they didn't bring any charges. They're not bringing any charges. Women and children are not safe in this country, but it's not because of Joe Biden's border policies. It's because white men in power protect each other. They can literally get away with murder. And if you don't believe me, ask Angie Solomon in Tennessee. You're right, families are hurting, they're struggling. They're struggling to put food on the table, but it's not Joe Biden's fault. Uh, first of all, we have a handful of mega corporations that produce most of our food, food that is horrible for us, that contains all kinds of chemicals and uh, things that are illegal in most countries. Not only are they poisoning us, they are price gouging us while raking in record profits. Families are struggling because our healthcare system is broken beyond repair. The average American family is a cancer diagnosis away from medical bankruptcy. Low-income families in red states are struggling because we won't expand Medicaid. Rural hospitals are closing. Maternity wards are closing. Uh, because of our abortion laws, medical professionals, their hands are tied and women are suffering. Educators are in this country. Uh, they were already overworked and underpaid, and now you have groups like Moms for Liberty absolutely terrorizing them. They're scouring libraries for anything that doesn't reflect their personal religious beliefs and then demanding that the books are removed, sometimes in schools where they don't even have children. Everyone's so distracted by the chaos that no one talks about how these groups are funded by billionaires, billionaires who have an agenda, an agenda to defund public schools, ruin public schools so that uh, our public tax dollars can be funneled to private schools, private schools that uh, will, can and will no doubt discriminate against black children and children with IEPs and 504s, schools that will not be held to the same standards as public schools. School choice is just another scam meant to line the pockets of the very wealthy at the expense of the middle class. And speaking of, a lot of middle class families are going to owe the IRS money this year because the tax cuts that you all delivered in 2017, they expired for them, but they were permanent for corporations. Families in this country are struggling and terrified because gun violence is out of control. There are a lot of empty seats at kitchen tables like mine because your party is beholden to the NRA. Finally, LGBTQ plus families are hurting because your party made the decision to use 
gender identity and sexuality as a political issue, as a wedge issue to rally your base and you know it, you know it. And as a result, this country is becoming increasingly hostile to the LGBTQ plus community, including children. I beg of you, leave these children alone. Find some, find another wedge issue, find something else, like literally anything else. Katie Britt, you're at a crossroads today. You can double down on what you said last night or uh, and I'm sure this is a long shot, but a girl can dream. You can get on the right side of history and choose women over your party. Thank you.